Next, I also want to uh, play this clip because I feel like this clip is very, very hilarious because it definitely does relate to this other story that I want to talk to you about regarding the Latino Bob the Builder. Yes, you heard that right. For some reason, for some reason, people out there think it's important to tell Bob the Builder story through the lens of a Latino guy or something. Absolutely insane. But I thought this comment by Skepta regarding the Black James Bond definitely echoes some of my feelings around you know, weird race swapping when it comes to certain roles, which I feel like are way more offensive than they are to than they are helpful. But I'd love to hear what you guys think regarding the situation. But here's Skepta on the current narrative around Black James Bond. There's talks of who's going to be the Black James Bond. And after a while, I just kind of got bored of that narrative. And, you know, James Bond is white. So I wanted to make a character, a superhero for black actors way beyond my time. Everyone has to suffer a little in life. Don't they? Pain. Always talks of who's going to be the black... So, you heard that bit, right? Now, look at this. Look at this flipping article come from Variety. Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Yes, Jenny from the fucking block to produce Bob the Builder animated movie at, by, by, at Mattel starring Anthony Ramos. So you see Bob the Builder here, a very Caucasian looking builder character, is going to be voiced by Anthony Ramos, very Latino, Hispanic, whatever you want to call it, and produced by Jennifer Lo Lopez. Can you imagine how stupid this is? That we have to, what, recast Bob the Builder as some, what, Mexican dude? Because what? He happens to be a builder because he's a handyman. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Isn't that way more offensive than just actually telling a very touching story about a immigrant family trying to make ends meet in a, you know, in a crazy world or something? Why would you want to tell it through the prism of Bob the Builder? Like, what is this? What the fuck is this? Let's read the article. Bob the Builder is ready to hit the big screen big screen debut of bob the builder the construction worker with a can-do attitude will be subject to a new animated feature film by mattel jennifer lopez producing the bob the builder while in the oh my god i didn't read this part is bob the builder based in new york heights so bob the builder will have a new york accent he'll probably be wearing tims he might have a bucket hat on like oh my god Bob the Builder in New York Heights will be voiced by Anthony Ramos. A twist on the long-running children's series, Bob the Builder, follows Roberto, Roberto, a.k.a. Bob, who travels to Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, for a major construction job. According to the official logline, audiences will see Bob as he takes on issues affecting the island and digs deeper into what it means to build. <laughs> what it means to be a builder of hispanic descent right imagine that is that what we're gonna do we're gonna have, we're gonna start opening we're gonna start opening trades forget opening a trade school to get more kids into trades into trades right into you know having a skill with their hands no we're gonna have trade schools based on race now we're gonna have black trade schools hispanic trade schools asian trade schools like what isn't it just important to have a generation of kids growing up knowing that the, the uh, you know no, the only way to flip in education isn't the only way? Isn't that most important? Wouldn't that be more important to be like, hey kids, if you're not good with school, if you can't learn in the classroom, here's another way for you to you know be able to afford a, a nice house for yourself, buy yourself a nice little car, start a family. Here's a here's a way to do it by learning a trade. Not based on your fucking race, but based on your ability to support yourself. You would think that would be a good thing, wouldn't you? But hey, what do I know? Let's continue. Bob's journey will celebrate the vibrant and colourful texture of Caribbean Latin nations and their people. <laughs> oh, Felipe Vargas, the up-and-coming Rosario, is attached to write the screenplay. A director has not been announced. Um, pairing Anthony and Felipe, genius vision for the story, will capture the beloved character in a manner that audiences who grew up with Bob will recognise. No, they won't, though. If you've watched Bob the Builder and you recognize that show, you will not recognize Roberto the Builder. That would not happen, right? Come on, man. Um, how do you even say Bob the Builder in Spanish anyway? What would that be? Roberto. 
<laughs> Honestly, this is terrible. What what would that be? Bob the Builder in Spanish. What does that mean? How do you actually say that? Is it is it? Can we translate this? I want to. I want to. I want to translate this. Give me a translate. Come on. Give me something. Give me something. Okay, says Bob el el constructor. So be Roberto el constructor. <laughs> constructor el Rob Bob. Constructor el Roberto or Roberto el constructor. Honestly, this is so insulting. This is so redacted, and really, if anything, representative of just how little imagination exists in Hollywood. Because if that's me, I'd want to tell an actual original story um, that actually, you know, is able to inspire and inform people way more than, you know, whitewash or like, you know, not even whitewashing, Hispanic washing. A story that doesn't need to be Hispanic washed. Like, it's so dumb. Um, you could even have Bob the Builder actually the Bob the Builder character, but just have him do some work in Puerto Rico. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Why not just do that? Why not just have Bob the Builder be white? And then just have him do some work for a Puerto Rican family and then tell that side of the story about the differences in terms of different cultures and shit. That would be a good way to do it instead of completely just Hispanic washing him. Like, what is the need of this? Anyway, let's continue. Um, for years, Bob the Builder's character has inspired young people around the world. A movie about friends working together, a celebration of a beautiful home they share and how love can help to conquer any obstacle. In the, what? Is that what Bob the Builder is about? It's about love. Okay, Ramos will also produce Bob the Builder with Alex B Bulky and Corey Capodonico. They got every every person with an Hispanic surname is attached to this fucking show, isn't it? Hilarious. Um, Elaine Goldsmith Thomas, but there's a few whiteys in there just to keep stuff, you know, because only whiteys can get shit done. So they got some whiteys there, but anybody that's Hispanic that works in flipping, you know, Hollywood is attached to this. If that was me, I'd be embarrassed. If if, if I'm actually from Puerto Rico. If I'm from fucking Cuba, if I'm from fucking Venezuela, if I'm from fucking Mexico, if I'm Nicaraguan, I would actually be insulted if the only job I got offered was Roberto El Constructor. That would actually piss me off. Like, how dare you? You don't give me any other roles. I can't write for fucking, what you call it? Um, The Good Wife, right? I can't write whatever else I want to write, but here you are giving me this role. I wonder why, because my fucking surname is Ramirez. Piss off. Bob the Builder is overseen by Kevin McKeon, Ivan Sanchez, Arturo the 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 course for Mattel, and Natalie Hack Flores. <laughs> the show's ability to promote positive thinking, problem solving, um, and empowerment with a completely original story set in Puerto Rico um, puts a new spin on the beloved series. We can't wait for the new and existing fans to connect with these amazing characters. Bob the Builder joins a slew of Mattel films in development, including American Girl, a live action Barney movie. Imagine if they do a Barney movie, but they make Barney black. <laughs> Barney's not even a race. But imagine they make Barney black. Do you know how insulting that would be? You're big up a a, a army. Bobby Doth the uninsured slash no license builder. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Imagine if they make Barney black. Imagine how embarrassing that would be. Like, hold on, what are you trying to say? <laughs> hold on. That's kind of offensive. Uh, big up our a Elmi. Big up you, mate. Big up you. Um, Ramos represented by CA. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah. Let's see what happens here. But actually, let me see our stats at the end. What does it say here? The company's first theatrical release was Greta Gerwig's majorly successful Barbie, which was distributed. Oh, okay. So Mattel have seen the success of Barbie, and they're thinking, hold on. If we take all our other toy IPs and we make them into movies, what? How much more money could we make? I think, yeah, it's one thing, but imagine if they tried to make an Hispanic version of Barbie, how badly that would have gone down. People didn't like, people didn't like the this version of the Barbie that released, but imagine if they tried to make Barbie from fucking Thailand or some shit. Imagine if, they, they, imagine if Barbie was from Hawaii. <laughs> imagine how badly that would have done. Honestly, I don't understand this. I, like, is it really that hard to just give Hispanic 
actors, writers, producers, editors, an opportunity to tell actual, real, original stories that actually do a service and actually help to honour and highlight and uplift their culture. Is that really that hard to do? To give these guys an opportunity to actually tell interesting stories based on their folklore, based on their traditions, based on their language, based on their family, familial structure, relationships, whatever. How hard could it be to do that? How hard? I'm sure there's plenty of Hispanic people out there who have been pitching stories, pitch, or pitching you know, scripts for TV shows and movies and shit. Don't get them greenlit. And then Mattel comes in and be like, you know what? Let's get Bob the Builder and turn him, you know, make him Mexican. Like, come on, bro. Really? Is this what we really need to see? We need Bob the Builder from the New York Heights. This is really what we want. We want Bob the Builder in fucking Timberlands and baggy jeans and a high-vis vest, right? With a New York Yankees hat on. <laughs> come on. Riding the A train or whatever they ride to the fucking work, right? <laughs> <laughs> See, what we're gonna have bob the builder jumping over the barriers <laughs> we're gonna have that scene we have in all shows that depict immigrants right we're gonna have the scene in all shows that depict immigrants where they do a pan over on the table and there's loads of letters with overdue bills are oh, overdue that's the perfect they always like to depict immigrants like you don't pay your bills you're always in debt you know what i mean you are oh, the basic <laughs> you're gonna pan across to Bob the Builder putting his sandwich oh actually what's his lunch gonna be Bob the Builder's definitely not gonna have a lunch he's definitely not gonna have a sandwich is he what's he gonna have is he gonna have paella or something what's he gonna have what's a Puerto Rican dish I don't know I can't I can't think of it right is it churros I don't know what the Puerto Rican dish is but he's not gonna have a sandwich right <laughs> oh yo it's gonna be fucking funny man it's gonna be so fucking funny and most likely bob the builder will have like one kid that's really westernized one kid that's more it's more like you know traditional oh some people say mofongo okay mofongo is from fucking uh it's, it's a puerto rican dish right what is mofongo what is mofongo is that a puerto rican dish right yeah mofongo is a puerto rican dish which has plantains as a main ingredient mmm that actually looks quite good. I'm not going to lie. Mofongo actually... Mofongo sounds like a racial slur. It sounds like something other Africans will say to other Africans to say the piss out of them. But it does actually look really good. It's basically what? Like a pile of rice or a pile of stuff with like meat on top of it. It looks fucking delicious. I'm not going to lie. I see one with prawns around it. I see one with some lime, right? Oof, it looks fucking banging. So Bob the Builder's going to be... Imagine Bob the Builder taking mofongo on the fucking building site god almighty imagine eating that for lunch <laughs> yo you're going to bed you're going to fucking bed but yeah big up bob the builder keep i wouldn't i don't i'm surprised i'm saying this but maybe keep bob the builder white is that possible do i sound maggerish do i sound red pillish when i'm saying keep bob the builder white <laughs> i don't know maybe keep bob the builder white but hey what do i know what do i know